was made for this. Yeah, buddy! <laughs> it's time to get the fuck out, Alex. It's time to run! Don't they kill them? Yeah. I can't keep this up forever. Ow! Got hit by a car. <laughs> Once the game gets past this little tutorial bit, and you get to go everywhere, is pretty great. Because then you just kind of explore the city and find all sorts of unlockables and you do a bunch of challenges to get a bunch of experience orbs is <laughs> great it's a fun little game yes sir oh that thing just fell <laughs> hello sir good to see you mind for a handshake thank you yeah and then if you act suspicious in a specific disguise um, Soldiers. you can switch back to Alex Mercer to try to kind of blend in with regular people. Good viewpoint, scope the area out. And certain things will make it easier to get into certain facilities. So if you want to try to blend in with scientists, if you get a scientist outfit, it becomes a whole lot easier if you want to get into a military base. What's up, pal? <laughs> a big issue that people had with this game is that climbing up buildings in certain parts of the combat... I guess used too many similar animations as I think it was an Incredible Hulk game at a time. But at the end of the day, who gives a shit, right? Talk about a series that needs a revival or a remaster. God, I would pay it's, uh, it's a friend's place. 60, 70, 80 bucks for a prototype remaster. I never realized there's a DC poster right there. The fuck? But they have no idea what I'm capable of. Let's see, isn't there. Yeah, we can't get to the upgrades yet. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah, it's just, we gotta get through these first few missions and then the map opens up and it's like, Oh, you can go and find upgrades. If I'm not mistaken, I played through this game many times and it makes me happy that I can't remember a whole lot. Such a great game for, oh fuck, my bad. <laughs> for overworld travel. Everyone's out here like, oh, Spider-Man had the best travel. Nah, man. This feels better. Once you get all the movement things unlocked and you can just zip zoom and just collide with walls, it's so good. <laughs> and you just take them and you can run. <laughs> yeah, see, two events unlocked. As you complete missions, you get events unlocked in the general area that you can complete for big upgrade points and you really want to go and try and do everything. Yeah, we might we might be able to do it. I don't know if I'm going to get gold right now though. I might have to practice the movement. So we have to hit all the dots within a certain amount of time. I don't think they're going to unlock yet, but throughout the world there's like exploration orbs that you can get more and more points for just going to different spots on the map. Because it's not like, you know, some of the Assassin's Creed tiles where it's like, oh, collect 25 feathers. It's like, why? Because fuck you, that's why. And then as you progress through the game, the city just gets more and more wrecked and destroyed. So right now it's a whole lot of cars and people. But as you start getting to like halfway, three fourths into the game, uh, story quests, more and more. Oh, there's one of the exploration things. Yes, we have those gone. And now we can just consume this boy. Oh shit, did we do that? Oh wow, we actually did that stealthily. Holy shit. I thought we were gonna have to run away and come back. God dang. <laughs> we did that so good. I think this is when we get the claws, right? Because we gotta fight one of those big boys. Yes! Claw power. Consuming the hunter has given you the claw power. Each power has unique attack combos and moves. Yes! Oh yeah, we don't have the the heavy, the special attack just yet. But we can, oh, we can slash through everything! <laughs> Bonjour! Oh fuck. No, 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 Oh no, don't kill the, don't kill that hunter! I want it, I want it! Yes, consume! Big heal! Yes, objective complete! Yes! Oh, that was a little stressful. Right 
so good. So good. I love it so much.